I don't have the BMW i4 M50 here anymore. I had to hand that back, unfortunately. But just before I took it back, I wanted to get some timed runs to see what it's like for the traffic light Grand Prix. 0 to 30 miles per hour. I wish I had a runway. I don't have a runway. What I do have is about a 30 to 40 meter stretch of flat tarmac down the side of our warehouse here. So with about 20 minutes before I had to hand the BMW back, I did some timed runs 0 to 30. And I've got some other cars. I've also done some timed runs 0 to 30. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how it compares. Right, so this is far from scientific calculations, but we can use a draggy to gauge its exact 0 to 10, 20 and 30 miles per hour times. So unlike a side-by-side -side drag race, it takes away any reaction time because the draggy will record as soon as you start moving. And it's very accurate to a hundredth of a second. So what we managed to do with the i4 M50 is do a few runs with that. And I tried it with the traction on, with the traction off. We used boost mode, launch control, and then one without anything as well. And one thing I have found with the i4, and I mentioned it in our review videos, and check out our other videos if you've not seen those already, is that the i4 feels a little bit kind of front wheel drive. It's a very fast car, don't get me wrong, but it, it kind of feels front wheel drive. It does scrabble for grip. It does have torque steer. And so it sort of feels quick, but in quite a different way to something like a Tesla Model 3 performance. Anyway, what this video about is not particularly scientific, so don't shoot us down, but we did what we can with the time we've got. And we run from the end there where our little Renault Twizzy drag demon is parked up now, up to 30 miles an hour. And then we've got to stop again by the time we get to here because then we go out onto public land. Uh, but that was enough to measure these times, which really are kind of indicative of the traffic light Grand Prix, as it were. And what we're going to start doing is actually measuring a few of our cars 0 to 30. So we'll build up a table of comparison. The trouble with that and with any comparative data is that on different days, different conditions, different states of battery charge, whether it's wet, damp, cold, hot, sunny, will all make a difference. So like I say, it's not massively scientific. However, with the i4, we did manage to do a few runs in that morning. Straight away, we then grabbed a Model 3 performance and did exactly the same. So that Model 3 performance was run on the same time just afterwards, exactly the same conditions. A bit wet, unfortunately, so not the best times. And the Model 3 performance actually had a slightly lower, well, quite a lot lower state of charge. Anyway, these are the results. Let's see how we got on. Okay, so the car's in drive. Sport mode's on, sport boost is on. Foot hard on the brake. Foot threat down, throttle launch control active, go. I think you can see here, it just can't get the power down on the BMW i4. It scrabbles, it scrabbles at the front. It makes quite a meal out of it. Sport boost, foot on the brake, launch control, go. Let's try this without traction control. <laughs> Look at it, it's spinning all the wheels, it's making a right meal out of this. In fact, I'm having trouble keeping it in a straight line. I'm going to go through the fence in a minute. And you can see here the wheels are spinning. No, this isn't quicker. It's much more dramatic. It's not a quicker time. But we had to try it and see if it makes a difference. There's launch control and go. Okay, so this is the best time for the BMW i4. So now I'm going to launch a 2021 Model 3 performance. I'm not going to engage track mode because this is what we consider like the traffic log Grand Prix, the 0 to 30 time. Um, and to go into track mode, you have to stop the car and engage track mode. So I'm just going to do it as a normal driving car. Same conditions. Ready? Go. Just look at how much cleaner the grip and traction system is on the Model 3. No spinning, no noise, it's just off. Look at that, 0 to 30, 1.58 seconds. That BMW i4M was over two seconds. So this is quicker, that's not in track mode. Let's see if it's any different in track mode. Okay, put it in park, track mode on, track mode on. And here you can see battery temperatures and stuff like that, and it keeps the battery cooler when you're doing lap after lap. Let's go to a customized version of track mode. Now let's keep it 50-50 acceleration first to see what that does. So we've got 1.58 to beat. Ready, steady, go. And on the brakes hard, 1.52. So not really much difference. I wonder if we can, you know, the good thing about Tesla Model 3 performance track mode is you can 
alternate front wheel drive, rear wheel drive bias. So maybe if I can try a slightly more rear wheel drive bias, but then I went up full power with both motors. I'm not sure, but let's just try it a little bit. Let's go 2080 to the rear. Three, two, one. What it does do, compared to the i4, by the way, the i4 is scrabbling and spinning wheels. <laughs> Nothing on this. 1.61, so slightly slower, in fact. So if I go to just rear wheel drive now, let's see what that does. And see if that is any quicker or slower. And then let's try that. And I can do one without the stability assist and see, but there's no spin on this at all. Just a slightly more gentle start than some cars. Uh, reset and go. Oh God, it really does pull in. These are quick cars. How is it so what I'm going to do now is a 50-50, because that's been the quickest so far, but I'm going to turn off the stability control. Three, two, one, go. Still no slip at all. No slip at all. 1.55. So this is quite consistently one and a half seconds. <laughs> 0 to 30, which is crazy. Now, what I haven't mentioned yet is the state of the battery. And I hadn't really been driven much this, so it's not fully warmed up. Okay, this battery is only at 46%. When I did this with the BMW i4 M50, that car was between 87 and 90% battery. So it had even more battery and it'd been driven, so the battery would have been warmer. So Tesla Model 3 performance for the traffic light Grand Prix is quicker. It does have the quicker numbers on paper as well, 3.1 versus 3.8, but yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, I need a break. <laughs> right, next car is Model 3 long range, refresh, so door trims, new new console, 90% charge, 10 degrees outside, surface a bit wet, but four wheel drive, I don't think it's gonna struggle for traction. Right, let's do the first run. Zero to 30, 2.1 seconds. There we go. It's pretty clear, no traction problems. And just one for the drive does the job. And as always, test the traction control system is just great. It manages power very, very good. Let's try again, let's go. 2.1 again. Let's see if we can do this better. And one more run on my little free long range. Let's go. Quicker. So used to it. 2.06, so that's the best we got. Okay, this is a Tesla Model X long range performance, the Raven one, the last we could get in this country. So it's slightly quicker than the XP100D, but we don't have plaid yet, so it's not one of those. And so what I wanna do here is not in Ludicrous Plus, I haven't done battery preheat, but it is warm, like it's been driven. And I'm at the traffic lights, it's just on its hold. So I'm just gonna press the accelerator and see what we can do with it there. Let's reset the timing. Suspension's in low, which is the best way for it. And go. Oh, got it, quick. And it's a heavy car to slow down. Right, what did we get? 1.66 0 to 30. Whew. Pretty quick. Okay, now let's see if we go to Ludicrous Plus and we do launch mode, although we're not at the full battery preheat, but this will give us launch mode. Now if we go to if we want to do like proper drag racing, you go to Ludicrous Plus and it preheats the battery up to 50. So it makes the battery really warm and you get the best from it. Um, but what I want to do is go to that mode now. So we're running at, it's showing me just over 40 degrees Celsius. It needs to be 50 for the full performance. But the reality is you'd need to sit and wait for it to be, it needs 20 minutes heating for that, which you wouldn't do if you were just kind of in real world scenario. So what I want to do is uh, just go to that mode. It's warm. I'm in suspension low still. Yep, suspension low. And I'm going to just now put foot hard on the brake, then hard on the throttle, 
launch mode enabled, the front's just dropping down for cheetah mode, and we're off. And we're going, God, damn, it makes you feel giddy. What do we do there? 1.63. Cheers, Sans. Slightly quicker, but actually not that much in it. I'm going to do one more. It could be quicker. We're currently at 79% battery. So not quite up to morning. It is damp this morning. It's not raining, but it's just kind of damp and cold. Launch mode, foot hard on the brake, throttle as well. Launch mode enabled, cheetah stance dropping down and foot release from the brake now. Oh. <laughs> Didn't want to do it then for some reason. I think it timed out. Foot hard on the brake, foot on the throttle, launch mode enabled and release. Oh. Slippery. You're making 1.66. Nicholas Bastille, again, not full battery heated. That takes a while to do. So you can do a bit on drag strips. People have done that on YouTube. But let's put it in launch mode. Let's see what we get. Launch mode enabled. Front's dropping down and released. Here we are. Here's quick. One point six two. So that's about as good as this car's getting in these conditions. Bit cold, bit damp, bit slippery, but remarkably fast. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus. These are so quick. <laughs> Fully launch mode enabled, and front's dropping, cheetah starts mode, and go. And it's off. God dear me. So there we are. That's the best we could do with the time we had. And I hope it's been interesting. We just couldn't get that BMW cleanly off the line. And after a number of repeat attempts, that Model 3 performance was distinctly quicker on a 0 to 30 run at least. At higher speeds, you can feel that BMW kind of gets into its stride. Autobahn, I think it's probably the quicker car, although it has a lower top speed than the Model 3 because it's limited. But anyway, 0 to 30 traffic light Grand Prix, the Model 3 is the quicker car, and it certainly wasn't at any advantage that day, a much lower state of charge, it could probably be even quicker, but it's just how cleanly the Model 3 gets away from the line. And certainly, it goes to show that the Model S and the Model X performance, they're quicker cars, but if you don't have the grip or if you don't manage the traction control smoothly, they're not actually that much quicker. The Model 3 performance has really impressed me with that today, super clean. So there we are, I hope it's been interesting. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.